welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss on 6.1 alternating current. Example 1. An alternating current is represented by the following equations I equals to 2 sine 100 pi t. Okay, so if you compare with the equations I equals to I naught sine omega t, so we know that I naught or the maximum value for the current is 2 ampere and the value for omega here is 100 pi. Okay, so a find the maximum current okay so based on the equations given we notice that actually i naught or the maximum current is equal to 2 ampere okay b find the frequency of the oscillation okay so as we know omega is equal to 2 pi f and from the equations given omega also equals to 100 pi okay so uh, the frequency will equal to 100 pi over 2 pi therefore we will get 50 hertz Okay, next, C, find the current at time equals to 2.5 milliseconds. So, we substitute into the equations where I is equal to 2 sine 100 pi and T is equal to 2.5 milliseconds. Okay, so remember the equations here is actually in radian. Okay, so you need to change the calculator mode into radian. This is not degree. So finally, if you press the calculator, we will get 1.4 ampere. Okay, next, when T equals to 12.5 millisecond. So again, you substitute into the equation when T equals to 12.5 millisecond. So I equals to 2 sine 100 pi. T is 12.5 millisecond. Okay, so again, as I mentioned just now, okay, this is in mode radiant. Therefore, you need to convert it into mode radiant. So if you press the calculator, we will get negative 1.4 ampere. Okay, example two. Sketch the following graph. Okay, graph one is given I equals to 2 sine 0 0.5 pi t. Okay, so actually this is a sine graph. So for sine graph, okay, when t equals to 0, our graph also starts from zero. So this is a sine graph. Okay, where y exit is i in ampere, x exit in second, a t time in second. Okay, and also you need to label i naught where i naught value is equal to 2 ampere. And also you need to uh, find out what is the period. Okay, so from the equation here, omega is equal to 0 0.5 pi. And omega also equals to 2 pi over period. Okay, therefore, the period here is equal to 2 pi over 0 0.5 pi. Okay, so pi and pi we can cancel off. Therefore, the period is equal to 4 seconds. Just here we write here 4 seconds. Okay, here will be 2, this will be 6. Okay, okay next B, I equals to 2 cos 0 0.5 pi t. Okay, so again, this is a cos graph. Okay, this is a cos graph. Okay, so we must label it I in ampere, time in second, and this is a cost graph. Okay, so again, you need to label what is the value for I0. So I0 here is 2 ampere, and the period here also omega is equal to 0 0.5 pi. So our period also equals to 4 seconds. Okay, okay, next. Okay, so if observe here, actually here we have the I equals to two angle. Okay, so we must find pi t minus pi only we shift the graph. Okay, so as usual we plot a sine graph. Okay, we plot a sine graph first. Okay, so this is a sine graph first. Later only we shift the graph. Okay, so this is a sine graph. Okay, after that we need to consider the phase angle here, where the phase angle here is equals to negative pi over two. So negative pi over two meaning that we need to shift our graph. Okay, so this one I extend it. Okay, I extend it. Okay, so we need to shift our graph to the left. Okay, so here we have the y exit. Okay, so this y exit we need to shift it by pi over 2. Okay, because it's negative. Huh? So we need to shift it by pi over 2. Okay, meaning that the new graph is actually start from a negative cos graph. Okay, so the actual graph for this equation okay, is actually start from a negative cos graph. Okay, so this is the value where we will start from a negative cos graph. Okay, so remember to label I in ampere time taken in second. Okay, so this is the graph for I equals to 2 sine 0 0.5 pi.
pi t minus pi over 2. Okay, and remember to label, okay, where similar, the maximum value for i is 2 and the period still the same is 4 seconds. Okay, next d, i equals to 2 sine 0 0.5 pi t plus pi pi over 2. Okay, so similar pi over 2 here, okay, we ignore first, okay, we plot the sine graph first. Okay, and data only we shift. Huh? So, this is a sine graph where it is start from, uh, when t goes to 0, it starts from 0. Okay, so now after we're plotting the graph, we need to consider the, uh, the fixed angle, where fixed angle here is plus pi over 2. So, pi over 2, meaning that we need to shift to the, okay, Okay, so we need to shift it to the right hand because it's positive. So positive pi over 2, meaning that we need to start from a cos graph. Okay, so this is the starting point. So we plot again the new graph. Okay, the new graph is actually, we should start from a cos. Okay, so this is the graph I versus T. Okay, and label it, the maximum value for I is 2 and period here is equal to 4 seconds. Okay, so this is the graph for i equals to 2 sine 0 0.5 t plus pi over 2. Okay, that's all for this example. Okay, we will continue with 6.2 root mean square. Okay, see you.